We have Jonathan Turley, who's a constitutional attorney and Fox News contributor, joining us. Uh, your reaction uh, to, this, to this insane raid? Well, it's a breathtaking moment to have a raid like this on a former president and potentially the future opponent of the current president. My first reaction beyond shock is that it, it is baffling how uh, this raid would occur, but Merrick Garland decided not to appoint a special counsel. If there was evidence that supports a warrant, and apparently a federal judge found that evidence, why didn't Merrick Garland ask for a special counsel to be appointed? You know, people like Archibald Cox and others are celebrated because we appointed a special counsel to look into Nixon. Why? It was because we wanted to assure the American people that an investigation would not be political, would not be influenced, in that case, by Nixon himself. Now, here you have the past opponent of the current president and the expected future opponent. I can't imagine how Attorney General Garland would look at that situation and not see an absolute necessity for a special counsel. And instead, they did this raid on this on. Uh, the former president's home. And it is going to trigger the anger that you've already seen. Now, we don't know what these charges are. The assumption is that it's related to January 6th. We've seen uh, warrants being issued from a grand jury. I've expressed skepticism over the ability to charge the president on the evidence that we've seen thus far in that committee. But for me, there is this threshold question of who should be ordering these types of raids. Merrick Garland has refused to appoint a special counsel in Hunter Biden. He apparently has not appointed a special counsel in this case thus far. I just can't understand why. You're going to see a reaction tonight and tomorrow. They're going to ask Joe Biden. He's going to be in Delaware, not doing anything. You're not going to really probably be able to talk to him personally. He'll probably put out a statement. You probably won't actually hear from Chris Ray because he's not allowed to talk about any ongoing investigations. That's what they all say. They can't talk about ongoing investigations. So are you going to hear from Merrick Garland? Are you going to hear tomorrow or tonight on camera from the attorney general about what the heck he's doing here? Are we going to get that or not? Yeah, I would expect that we'd have some statement given the historic nature of this raid. It, it, the, the Justice Department does not talk about ongoing prosecutions and the evidence or details or direction. Uh, they don't reveal information of that kind. But they do respond to public moves like this one. Uh, you know, this is occurring shortly before the midterm elections when the Justice Department has a rule to discourage any moves that might influence the election. Uh, I think that you could have some type of statement being made tomorrow uh, to explain why this occurred at this time. But there are these lingering questions of how this is being handled. This country is deeply divided. And frankly, we're living in this age of rage. I would have thought that Attorney General Garland would be more sensitive to that in how this type of historic raid would occur to just have a raid out of the blue like this without having an independent investigator, I think is reckless. It's reckless. And as we've discussed all throughout the evening, nothing like this has ever happened before. And we've had a lot of criminal politicians or a lot of crooked politicians that go in and do this and do a little of that. Not like this. No one's ever, well, you know, raid, Jesse, no one's ever the sent the FBI into the home of a former president or a former presidential candidate ever in U.S. history. I think that's right. Now, I do think that we all have to wait to see what the basis of this warrant is. A judge obviously looked at this and said that there was sufficient evidence to support the warrant. All right, so what kind of judge, like let me stop what, you, what kind of judge would they take this to? they take it to a D.C. judge or a Florida judge? Well, they, they would, but you, you would take it to a federal judge to see if they have alleged in that application enough to, to, to allow for this type of search to occur, a judge obviously found there was sufficient evidence. Now, we'll have to take a look at what was the crime being alleged here. We already know that the compound uh, was the subject of an earlier search in terms of classified material and presidential records. 
The assumption is that this deals with January 6th. But what I'm intrigued about is what new evidence there is to support this type of extraordinary raid. If the evidence is no more than what we saw in the January 6th committee, I would be frankly shocked that this type of raid occurred at this time. But we have to wait and we have to see, because we're, we're now at working in the blind here. But that's one of the reasons I think there is an expectation, or a legitimate one, that the Justice Department will make some type of statement as to why this occurred at this time, and, and to give us some notion of what's occurring with a former president and a potential candidate to be the next president. Well, we're hearing now, and this is on CBS, that these things that were seized related to classified materials not involved with January 6th. I repeat, not involved with January 6th. And that makes me think, didn't Hillary Clinton have classified documents in her house? The FBI didn't yeah, raid her house and kick down the door in Chappaqua. Uh, a lot of those documents were destroyed. Uh, others were handed over in a negotiated settlement. I don't understand why he gets a different type of treatment than Hillary Clinton. And you said something before, well, you know, a federal judge had to have signed off on it. Well, we got judges that signed off on those warrantless wiretaps on the campaign, and those, judge, those judges were misled. Uh, they were given misleading documents, forged documents, and that was all based on information that was fraudulent. So. Yeah, maybe a federal judge signed off on it, but it doesn't make it holy. Yeah, no, the information you just shared is, of course, new. If this is related to classified documents still in his possession, it would be an extension of the earlier search that was conducted. I'm rather surprised by it because this goes to the Presidential Records Act. I just testified on this issue, including Trump's status in Congress under the PRA. And there has been a lot of tension between the archives and former President Trump over his retention of documents. Now, this act has largely not been criminalized in this sense. This is really extraordinary to have a raid like this occur. And it's not clear what evidence they have that he intentionally withheld classified information. The reason it would be serious, Jesse, if that is, in fact, a true account is that he was given the earlier opportunity to turn over documents. If he retained some knowingly, the Justice Department can say that that is a clear crime, because he, at that point, obviously was a former president and had been ordered to turn over that material. So that may change the dimension a bit of this. It's still a historic moment, and it's going to be troubling, because you have to look at how this will be seen by many people in the country. We've gone through years of trauma, and there have been legitimate questions about bias in the FBI. That's why I've been this huge advocate of a special counsel right. uh, to take this away from the Biden administration and the Justice Department to assure half the country uh, that this is not something that's a, the result of political bias. Yeah, well, and as you said, and we're going to let you go, thank you so much, Professor Tully. As you said, it, it, this has never been criminalized before, this uh, retention of classified records. Or hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.